So I realized I've never had Demarzio on the channel before. We definitely got to fix that. Demarzio is one of the oldest and biggest and best aftermarket pickup manufacturers. And what better pickup to start with than the Fortitude, the Joe Duplanter from Gojira's signature pickup. Now it's weird, I haven't really seen anyone demo this or talk about it. It came out last year during COVID and I know that it's been hard to get pickups from anyone, uh, especially Demarzio during COVID. Uh, it's, it's been really hard for stores to get stock, for people to make orders. And I think that's probably contributed to a lot of people not getting their hands on this and doing videos on it. But something else I think of that might be putting people off is this pickup is based on the 36th anniversary PATH pickup. Now, PATHs are an old vintage, like Gibson style pickup. And that's what Joe wanted. He wanted a vintage pickup and it's pretty low output. And I think that might put a lot of metal guys off. Normally us metal guys like super hot screaming pickups that slam the front end of your amp. And that's not what you get with this. It's an Alnico 5 magnet and it has more low end than anything else and more mid range than treble. It's not a super bright pickup. It's not dark or anything. Um, you'll just notice that it has a bit more warmth on the low end, and that's actually really good for chugs and that big, full Gojira sound. You put a bump of like a dB and a half around uh, like 160 hertz, and then you put a little notch around five or 600. I'm guessing uh, he wanted it to sound fuller in the 160 hertz range. That's kind of where your palm mutes live. And uh, the five to 600, he probably just wanted to get rid of some boxiness, make the mid range kind of sound less quacky or harsh. And it worked, it's a very balanced, very full sounding pickup. And like I mentioned, it is pretty low output. So I actually, on the red channel of my EVH Stealth, I actually had to turn up the gain a bit. Normally that channel has more gain than I'd ever need and I rarely, if ever, go above three on it. But I got towards halfway on the gain and uh, it handled it great because it's lower output, even under that much gain saturation it stays really clear. Like I can do these big full chords and you can hear every string and every note in it. It's it's actually pretty cool. And because of that increased low end, it chugs without getting like messy because it's not slamming the front end super hard. So it's not oversaturating the low end. It's just there for some extra kind of fullness. I actually think a lot of people should try uh, that are used to hotter pickups. They should try some more vintage stuff. They should try this pickup specifically if they like metal. I think it works really well. I actually really dig it. I'm going to hang on to this. I feel like this would be great in like an old Les Paul or like an old telly that takes humbuckers, you know, something like like Joe plays like it. It just it just works and, and it, it can cover a lot of ground, too. Like, of course, you can do the more prog stuff because it's very clear sounding and you, know, you use enough gain. You can get it to do the more thrashy, more death metal stuff. But it's also great for rock. I could see a lot of people using this for more blues and more jazz stuff. It cleans up very nicely. So we're gonna hear this in a mix. Like I said, I'm using the red channel of my EVH 5153 Stealth. And then we're gonna hear it outside of a mix on that same channel. Like I said, I'm using way more gain than I would normally just because this thing is so low output and you'll definitely hear that sizzle, but you'll hear it stay pretty clean. And then we're gonna hear it on the green clean channel of my EVH 5153 and I'll coil split it too. So you can hear how that sounds.
Yeah, so there you go. It's a cool pickup. I'm kind of sad more people have not demoed it. Um, I, I hope some more people give this a try. I hope some people kind of step out of their comfort zone and see maybe they, they like something like this. Maybe they've been having problems with note clarity or, or uh, you know, chords under a lot of uh, distortion going kind of muddy or mushing together. This might be something worth trying or at least having something different in one of your guitars as opposed to all high output, like having a different flavor and something that you can use, I think is a really good idea. I'm glad I finally got some Namarzio on the channel. I'm glad I got to demo some more Gojira and Joe Duplanter stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Stay metal.